Hello, this is Andrew from Trend Following Mentor. I'd like to invite you to learn a free lesson on what not to do when you do your stock trading. Prior to that, what I'd like to do is I want to invite you for a free 40 page trend following report. You can sign up right here on trendfollowingmentor.com and you'll be emailed a 40 page um, booklet on trend following that will help you do your trading. And today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how not to trade stocks. That's pretty interesting. Uh, most people want to learn how to trade. I'm going to teach you an idea what not to do. One of the most simple things that people do and they make a mistake time and time and time again, and now we're in meta stock, is they chase a stock. The simplest thing that I do in meta stock, I love using the bars, just using blue bars and red bars, that after you've had four days of a run up, or even three, you're going to have a pullback. There are many, many, many times that you're going to see groups of bars. You're going to have red bars, then really nothing happening here, but you have all these up bars, some red bars. What you don't ever really want to do is chase when you've had more than three bars or four bars in a row going up to go long. You can even say the same thing if you want to go short. Let's look at another example. Um, let's look at Apple. Whoops. One second, bear with me. Let's get Apple looking a little bit better here. Okay. Here's three up bars, two big down bars. Three up bars, three down bars. Look at this, one, two, three. Okay, this one kind of defied our, our ruling because Apple keeps on running away. You had these massive moves up, but you're taking a lot of risk here. And what we're really trying to do is not take big risks. I mean, you went from, let's say, 460 up to, that's a tremendous move, up to 526 and then kind of fell out of bed a little bit. That, that's pretty scary going back here and you need to have a plan when you're trading. So let's open another one. We're going to open up, um, let's do Fossil. Let's go to a daily. Same scenario. You had one, two, nothing really. You had two up bars. Three up bars, four up bars, one, two, three, four, pull back. Before you, you just take a trade, try to wait for it to retrace a little bit. Unless you're following an exact plan with a trend breakout, which, here I'll show you how that works. Uh, bear with me one second. Trend breakout, here we go. Just put it in there. We would have been long from here, which is a tremendous move. The fossil from 87 or, or yeah, 87 up to now 134. Very simple trade. But during this whole time, you had pullbacks. Here was a nice pullback. You can kind of see it here and exemplified here. And that would have been an opportunity to, to have gotten back in with the trend. So with Trend Following Mentor, you learn how to ride trends. You learn how to enter on a trend breakout. You learn how to get in on a trend retracement. What you don't want to do is buy into a drawdown, buy into this, this, and you wait for a pullback. Or when you have a big up move, you wait for it to pull back. You wait for it to pull back. This is the kind of things that I teach you on trendfollowingmentor.com. And again, it's one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one mentorships or very small groups. Um, you can go and you can see some of the reviews and the praise and what other people have said about the material. And again, I invite you for a free 40 page book on trend following to learn how to trend follow. I've been trend following for 18 years. I trade for a living. And this is my way of giving back with um, running this site. Thank you.